RBT Task A3 focuses on implementing discontinuous measurement procedures, which involve recording some, but not all, instances of a behavior, often used when it's not feasible to capture every occurrence, such as in busy environments like classrooms. There are three main types of discontinuous measurement. Whole interval recording, where an observation period is divided into equal intervals and the behavior must occur for the entire interval to be recorded as a yes. E.g., Lila marks a plus if her client spits repetitively for the full two-minute interval and a if it happens only partially or not at all. Partial interval recording which also uses equal intervals, but requires marking a yes if the behavior occurs at all during the interval, regardless of duration or frequency, e.g. If a client bangs their head once or repeatedly within a seven minute interval, the interval is marked with a plus and with an X if it doesn't occur, and momentary time sampling, where the observer checks at the end of each interval to see if the behavior is occurring at that exact moment, e.g. A teacher checks every five minutes during a 45-minute independent work period to see if students are on task, marking a plus if they are and a if not. These methods provide efficient ways to collect behavioral data when continuous measurement isn't practical.